Marlon Hess joining James Donaldson as that is the starting unit for head coach Kevin Warren now in his ninth season at the helm of the Hoyas. Hoyas donning the road navy with silver numbers on their backs. Still be defending goal to the left here in the opening quarter. The Friars in the home whites with the big black numerals defending goal to the right. In between the pipes for the Friars today, Toby Bergdorf in front of him, the starting unit, Matt Grillo, Dan Axelson, Ryan Zimmerman, Tim Hendricks, Grant Latimer, Ryan Naraki, Emmett Jennings, John Hoffman, and Matt Gould round out the starting 10 for head coach Chris Gabrielli, now in his ninth season at the helm of the Friars. Need to dodge the score today and be more aggressive on the offensive end. Here's McGreen loading up the left hand, firing it wide. McElroy in a good position there, watching it sail by. And Friars down to about 25 seconds on the shot clock for Hendricks. Hendricks versus Bundy now leaves it back. The shot and the score! Firing it in, Ryan Zimmerman. Then the Friars take an early 1-0 lead on Zimmerman's 13th goal of the season. Time of the goal is going to be 5.36 of the first quarter. Good ball move. And play catch with Hess. Hess now working against Hendricks. Final change comes in as McDermott back in the midfield now for Georgetown. He's watched by McGreen. Declan McDermott now takes a couple of shots and quick passing here by the Hoyas. And oh, what a rip from the outside. Jake Carraway, Georgetown's all so high. Jabra pricked up by the short stick of Lindsay. Again, Coach Gabrielli really praising the Georgetown defense. They're so deep. And Chabra firing it high and wide after taking a big hit as he ventured down closer to the goal. But this is a big physical defensive team. Not afraid to throw around their weight back there. Here's Grillo. Trying to get around one. Slide came over to help, and Grillo now gets his man to fall to the ground and fires it in. Matt Grillo from range that time. Give McDermott, the junior from Pleasantville, New York. As it comes out now for Haley. Haley trying to get around Latimer. Caraway now, and as the Hoyas work the perimeter. Slipping in closer, and what an overhand rip. My goodness. Graham Bundy Jr. with the blast for his 13th goal of the season. Stepping into that shot, avoiding the closeout from Matt Gould. And Graham with the goal as Bergdorf picks up his fourth save of the game already. Chabra. And he is just knocked out of bounds. Heck of a hit that time put on by Will Godine. A failed clear for the Friars. Second chance now for Georgetown to take the lead. Thompson tries to spin around Axelson. Thompson wanted to load up the shot, finally gave way to the far side it went. Now across for Haley, and the shot to score. To Georgetown, able to take picked up here by Godine. Trying to shake around him to find a shooting lane, but had to go back for Hoffman. Hoffman now for Zimmerman. And around for Axelson, Grillo now from the midfield. Working against Geddes, Grillo. Draws the attention of three Hoyas. Hendricks now begins his dodge, finds a space and a score. Hendricks able to dodge right past Will Godin. Little shake and bake move. And the Friars tie things up. Take a look again. Hendricks, here's the shimmy right there. Plants that left foot and then just dodges right past Will Godin. Five minutes into the second quarter, all even at three. Friars had an early lead. Georgetown then struck back to take a lead of its own. And then the Friars have 
tied things up again here in the second. Out high is Peter Thompson. Thompson on the run. We'll dump it behind the net. Oh, what a move that time. And a sweet finish. Colin Monroe with his fifth goal of the season. Got it in a good spot. A little fake to the right. Goes back to his left and somehow found that sliver of space to beat Bergdorf, which has goes D to D across for Lacalzi. Lacalzi on the run and an errant pass, trying to find Caraway. It's going to bounce out of bounds. Turnover on the Hoyas. And that is just their second turnover of the game. Here's McGreen on the run using his speed. McGreen with the left hand and a score. Evan McGreen taking matters into his own hands and rips it home. And around it goes now behind the cage once again for Haley. Trying to get a Latimer moving the wrong way. Ball is loose on the turf. Then it's Hughes once again for the Friars. So another cause turnover by this Providence defense. And a nice check on the outside. It's getting back defensively was Nikki Petkovic. Transfer from Colgate. And there's a shot and a score for the Hoyas. Ripping it home. Bundy, his second of the game. It all started with that big check on the far side to cause a turnover. And then the overhand shot from Bundy. His second of the day, 14th of the season. End of the field. It'll be on the stick of Tominovic. Actually, I think he was able to get it already to Geddes. Geddes now on the run. Sprints right past a couple of Friars. Find some open space in the middle. Geddes the shot and score. Nobody picked him up. And Zachary Geddes with just his third of the season, but a big one in terms of momentum. And for the first time today, Georgetown with a multiple goal lead. And Geddes just runs past everybody. Plenty of space to work with. And late closeout attempt by Jennings. Not enough. It's gone in the penalty to Caraway. Friars yet to take a shot here with the extra man. Axelson. And now Grillo. And that one partially deflected. It looked like off of Jack Elders. Just six seconds remaining in the penalty. Here's Axelson loading up the shot and a score. Dan Axelson with the man up goal. And the Friars back within one. Axelson's team leading 14th of the season. With time winding down, steps fully into that one. And even without Gibson Smith. Now Georgetown still looking for its first goal of the quarter. As we are midway through the third. Dylan Hess. Nudged along that time by Cusolito. A little hop in his step. Gets around Cusolito. Behind Giolina score. Dylan Hess. His first of the day. Seventh of the season. And that little hesitation stutter step. Bought him a little bit of time. And it was just enough to come curling around. As he fires it, working on a hat trick. Here's Hess, who had the last goal. Behind the cage is Haley. So Haley and Hess working behind the goal. Gould. Trying to keep him at bay. And around it comes for McDermott. McDermott down the right alley behind the cage. Quick ball movement once again. Bundy thought about the shot, gets to a better space, and a save made by Bergdorf. Another chance for the Hoyas, and that one hits pay dirt. Another laser from Nikki Petkovic. And he's matched step by step by Godin. McGreen now trying to shake free of Jack Leary as it comes across for Axelson. Naraki wants more, working against Godin. 
The help comes. Araki to a better shot. And he scores. Excellent individual dodge that time from Ryan the Rocky. And he makes it a two goal margin with his first of the day. And his 12th of the season. There came the help. He dodged right towards the middle of the field to get away from that slot. Jennings, his shadow for the day. As it comes back out high. Petkovic able to keep it alive with a nice grab. It's Caraway. Begins his move. Gets close to the net and the finish. The dunk for Jeet Caraway. And he finds pay dirt for the second time today. Nice job working from X that time. Caraway able to get in position against Jennings. Little hop over the crease. And a little dunk over. Over time against them here, down to 20 on the shot clock. Hendricks. McGreen, double team coming over, and that one fired wide again with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Zimmerman trying to curl around and fires it high again as he took a shot. Down to nine now. And Grillo begins his run. Hands tied up there, but fires it in. Oh, what a goal from Matt Grillo. Second of the day, 13th of the season for the talented junior. And brings the Friars within two. Hoyas all over him, stops on a dime and pops it home. Top shelf for Matt. Bundy, Caraway. Now Caraway directing traffic. As that sent McDermott in motion, the big shot from McDermott is wide. Down to 14 on the shot clock. Here's Haley. Up top it comes. Bundy. Trying to muscle past Shaw and somehow squeaks it past Bergdorf. And that's a hat trick for Bundy today. 15th of the season, third today. That Shaw all over him is still just muscles at home. Not sure how that was able to get past. And that certainly has been a big part of Georgetown's success, not only today, but over the course of the season. Their dominance on faceoffs. Again, they came in at 65% on the season, well above that here today. And despite how well the Friars have played defensively, including getting. 16 saves from Bergdorf. The extra possessions for Georgetown, just too much. And there's another one there. A slipping inside was Bundy for his fourth of the day. So four now for Bundy, including the last two. And the biggest lead of the day for the Hoyas at 11-7. Brings it back in play. McDermott chased all the way out by Tomasi. Now Petkovic back out high for McDermott. Hess faked the shot, got a little closer, and had it altered from behind as Jennings was able to get a piece of it. Caraway now. Keeps it low and skims it home off the turf. Hat trick for Caraway. And the All American heating up here in the second half. And just too much space there as he was a maintained possession. As getting to it was Jack Leary, but he turns it right over. Cusolito now with some pace down through the middle of the field. Left it back for Hoffman and Godin will chase him around. Grillo now on the far side, slings it over for McGreen. The Rocky. Axelson and now Naraki. Play catch, but 
Friars running out of time with just over nine minutes left in the fourth. McGreen tries to get around. Godin and fires it home. Evan McGreen with his second. So unnecessary roughness on Tomasi. Draws a one minute penalty. And the first man up of the day for Georgetown. They've been converting at a 45% rate. This is only their 12th man up opportunity of the season. And they are 5 for 11 coming in. The Friars killing off penalties at a 73% rate. Have allowed six man up goals and 22 chances to their opponents. Behind the back shot and in. A little bit of trickery from Colin Monroe. And Georgetown only needed nine seconds of the man up for Monroe to get his second goal of the game. His sixth of the season. Hendricks. And now Axelson back on. Gets it from Naraki. Trying to run around Jack Leary. There came the slide, and now it's going to be Hendricks. Finds a soft spot in the D and tags the corner. Also drawing a late flag as well. The Friars not dead yet. Here's another look. Hendricks gets past Godin, fires with the left hand, takes a shot to the head. It looked like coming across as Lecalzi. They are now at 50% on the season with the extra man. But again, in no rush here. Four goal lead and just about two minutes left. Friars trying to force the action down a man. Down to five seconds into Tomasi. Penalty, and there's the finish for Peter Thompson, a man up goal with under two minutes to go. Perhaps the final nail in the coffin of the Friars here today. Thompson had been stoned a couple of times on the doorstep, but not this time. As that is his fourth goal of the season, it comes man up late in the fourth quarter. With possession, it'll be Hendricks. Hendricks trying to fight off a couple of Hoyas. It'll be a save by McElroy. It would have been a foul on Georgetown, but it doesn't matter as time expires and the Hoyas prevail here today 14 to 9 they improve to 5 and 1 on the season 3 and 1 in big